Ariona Embo launches and connects after four or five bounces, gets it to swirl in. An 8 3 lead for Tulane on the road. Melvin Frazier going up and against the taller junior E2 puts it in. Power five conferences sign a couple of big kids that can help them in the interior immediately next year. Tulane, as we mentioned, forcing a good amount of turnovers this year as Gino Artisan hits from the corner. Tulsa 3 and 1 in American Conference play. Oh, the early surprise is this season, and they have their first lead of the day with TK and Doogie underneath. It. Oh, he already has erased a double-digit gap, and they build on their lead with Henderson from the corner, forcing Dunleavy to take a timeout. Still only a sophomore. Great pass. Still only a sophomore. I'll repeat. <laughs> Taplin accelerating and scoring to make the lead 10. And the pace certainly in Tulsa's three favor. Of them. <laughs> three straight drives, three straight layups. He has a plus one here. Taplin with three on the timer. Little hop step. The floater pounces home. And leaves Tulane with no time to get a release lately of keeping Tulsa in front of them off the bounce. How about Morgan getting into the offensive fray and the senior puts Tulane within six. Three from the corner, got it! And it's Kane Harris. Put all those early wins into the bank, so to speak. Tap one accelerating and the foul. That time steps up and makes a big shot. Tap one with the answer. And a turnover. Taplin leading the break. Alley up inside to TK Adogi. Might that be the dagger? We'll see if Tulsa can make something out of this possession. Five on the shot clock. Taplin going up and under. Incredible. Now Tulane trailing by eight needs to hurry. A three goes from the corner as Melvin Frazier connects. And after all that, Junior E2 grabs the rebound. That took a lot more for Tulsa than I think they would have imagined. A gutty effort by Tulane late in the going, but Tulsa hangs on against a 4-1 in league play.